Tesla's FSD is getting serious. And yes, I've been buying Tesla stock for the past week. I think for the past two weeks, I've plowed almost 8K just in Tesla stock. Just buying. Loving the dips. When it went down to 325, I bought, I doubled down on that. I'm extremely happy. And seeing things developing with Tesla's FSD is absolutely awesome. And Elon Musk has dropped some insights on some of this that we have to talk about. It's a sheesh moment. And I'm extremely excited, man. Sheesh. Smash that like button. I don't want to, you know, waste any time. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get down to it. So Holmars here, he comes out and says that Tesla FSD supervised 13.2.7 took me from Oakland Airport to San Francisco crossing the Bay Bridge and I never touched the steering wheel or pedals once. Man, dude, I love this, man. See, this is the reason why I'm going all in in this company. It's stuff like this. It's honestly stuff like this. And uh, I'll get to the lighter stuff at the end of the video because that's a big trigger point for me and so many other people saying that, oh, LiDAR will overtake Tesla one day. Bro, are you serious? But anyways, Elon Musk recalls this and says, and it only gets better from here. Tesla is still on track to launch autonomous ride hauling in Austin in June and roll out to many cities in America by the end of this year. Oh, I love that. I love that. Now, Elon did say this. He did clarify this in the Q4 earnings call. But I don't think we're ready to see how fast it's going to be distributed or going to be in many cities in the US, this ride hauling share. Now, Franz did say that the cyber cab are going to be rolling in June. And Elon is talking about autonomous ride hauling in Austin. So it looks like we're going to be getting actual sexy vehicles, the S3, X, and Y, and the cyber cab in June. That's going to be such a pivotal moment. And I'll be honest, June 2025, if the stock is not over 500 bucks per share, it's extremely cheap. Not financial advice, but I'm just saying it's extremely cheap at that point. It's crazy. You're going to, it's starting. And here's the thing. Once Tesla starts the scaling, we are not ready for that. That's what I mean. We are not ready for the scaling because Tesla is the king of scaling. They are the king of scaling. Look at the vehicles, how they're scaling. They could produce a whole lot more than they are, but it's just demand and all that kind of stuff. So they're just holding off on that. Mega pack, look how fast they're scaling on that. Like the Lathro factory is on, it's on full capacity. It's at full capacity. Just wait to see how Shanghai, Mega pack Shanghai, how that's going to be a full capacity by end of this year. It's going to be absolutely a sheesh moment. He continues and says, the threshold is achieving safety far in excess of the average human driver. Facts, very important. Ultimately, autonomous cars will be more than 1,000% safer than human-driven cars. Facts. And here's the thing with robotaxi and stuff, they have to be. They have to be. But here's the thing, guys. What do you think is going to happen to all these insurance companies once this happens? Warren Buffett said it himself that, hey, man, if this full self-driving thing actually happens and it's going to happen... It's the biggest threat to insurance in, 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 to ins insurance companies, especially when Tesla has its own insurance policies. So that is pretty big. That is massive, and we're getting it pretty much in June, bro. You know how bull this is big bull. This is bullish. And here's the thing: it's not just Holmars who's finding this extremely crazy. Daniel Neguru says this: the latest FSD Tesla update is unreal. Just did a 40-minute drive and never touched any controls or the wheel at any point. I've had Teslas for over a decade, and the recent upgrade is truly next level. Sir, real. Man, I want to buy more stock just reading this. I want to buy more stock, and I think I'm going to buy more stock later on, later today. That's insane. This is absolutely insane. Bro, people are waking up 95% and more. People don't know about this. What do you think is going to happen to the stock, to the company, once they know about this? We are so early, it's not even funny. It's not even funny. That's the awesome part. That is the flipping awesome part. I love it. I flipping love it. Jeff Lutz, here's the thing about this tariff and all that kind of stuff. Okay, this tariff doesn't really impact Tesla because they're vertically integrated. And Jeff Lutz says it perfectly here. He says that before anyone starts hyperventilating, Tesla builds out 99.7% of its vehicles sold in China inside of China. None of those vehicles are subject to this proposed tariff. And he's talking about what he recorded from Even, saying that China to impose up to 15% on US energy and vehicles starting Monday. He continues and says that 0.3% of vehicles will be subject to 15% if imposed. Wow, big whoop. We're all, all these guys who are really getting fear, full of fear and panic, they're afraid of 0.3%, right? And here's the thing, it doesn't matter where Tesla is around the world. If they're having a factory in Germany, 
that product or vehicle that they make in that factory is a German made vehicle. 99% because everything's ver vertically integrated. It's not like Ford or GM where they get the doors from Thailand and the tires from China and then the mirrors from Philippines or something like that and they assemble in the factory because that's so many parts coming. No, no, no. Tesla's like, no, we're not going to do that because that's just it's supply and not the right way of doing things. We're going to be vertically integrated and do everything in house batteries, building the vehicle. I mean, having the parts, everything, everything. And that's why Tesla is always in a good position when it comes to these things, whether it's a big geopolitical issue, like if you guys remember what happened to the Red Sea, yes, this did impact Tesla, but it didn't impact that much on their production in house. It was just delivering the vehicles. That was mainly the main thing. Tesla is well positioned in these things because they're vertically integrated. They just built everything in house and within that country. Very little things come from other countries. That's the beauty about this. And Elon Musk replies back to this saying that, yeah, there's nothing to worry about. There's no, <laughs> everything's in-house. We are vertically integrated. There's nothing to be worried about. And then Mario here, he posts here saying that a study, shout out to Tesla Rita for this, says that Tesla EVs outlast every other car on the road, which is absolutely facts. If you guys haven't driven a Tesla, you guys should. You guys should test drive it. But warning, once you guys test drive it, you'll probably end up buying one. That's what I'm going to say. He continues and says that the new study just confirmed what Tesla owners already knew. These EVs don't just last, they dominate. 204,000 miles, the average Tesla lifespan crushes every other brand, no matter the powertrain. 20.3 years, nearly double the time of most EVs, Tesla is playing the long game. Mileage king, the average EV taps out at 124,000 miles, but Tesla, it keeps going and going. Tesla is redefining what long lasting means, it's making history. Bro, can Tesla come to Kuwait, please? I want a Tesla, but just they're not here. They are not here. It sucks. But that's the thing. That's the thing, guys, with Tesla. You can't bet against it. And what Elon Musk was talking about, about the autonomous ride hauling happening in June and the safety, all that kind of stuff, man, it's really reassuring and it's flipping awesome. I can't wait until June. Now, here's a little beef that I have with this LiDAR thing that we have this circulating in on X and in the community saying that LiDAR, because BYD is doing it and all these other companies in China that are doing it, it's going to compete with Tesla. LiDAR, even if they bring the price down to subpar or even lower than Tesla's, it'll never compete with Tesla's because one, scalability, and two, geofenced. LiDAR needs everything to be pre-mapped. It's not, that's not scalable. That's not practical on a daily basis. If you want to get in your Tesla, drive from city to city, you can do that. LiDAR cannot. I will never do that. I imagine that all the pre-mapping they have to do, it's not, it just doesn't make, it's, it just doesn't make any sense. It does not make any sense. Now, the Chinese, they're doing a good job in competing. They are doing a good job, but I wouldn't, really, I wouldn't even call it competing when you're only limited to like one part of the city or just one city and then, you know, some other parts in that country. That's not really competing when Tesla's FSD can go anywhere. And Elon Musk did say that, hey, this thing can also be on Mars another planet and it can drive. This is what we're talking about. And there's nobody, nobody can compete with that. Tesla is the only one, the only AI company out there that has real world data, physical AI. NVIDIA doesn't have it. Meta doesn't have it. Google doesn't have it. Microsoft and all these other companies, tech companies, AI companies, they do not have it. And the fact that Tesla has 7 million vehicles, more than 7 million vehicles on the road collecting data every day, you just can't compete with that. You can't compete. And then once you have the robo-taxis out and you're collecting a whole lot more data, you're finished. You can't keep up. This is going to continue collecting data unless someone hacks and steals it. <laughs> That's the only way. That is the only way. But LiDAR, when you guys hear this LiDAR thing, it's not a threat to Tesla. And it'll never be a threat to Tesla. If it gets big, like BYD saying that, oh, they're going to make it free. Okay, you're going to make it free. For what cities? For what part? can make it free for the whole entire country because how are you going to make pre-mapped LiDAR, pre-mapped uh, maps for the whole city. You can't do that. That's going to take you many, 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 many years and you have to maintain that because things always change, right? We, we can see how Waymo acts, right? With a massive, ugly looking Waymo and stuff like that. Well, well, LiDAR on top, that's just not practical. It's not practical. So every time when you hear that, oh, BYD, free FSD because of LiDAR, and because LiDAR is improving, the cost is going down. It may be a comp competition to Tesla's FSD. It'll never be. And I'll, I'll very confidently never be, never, ever, ever be competed with.
Tesla. Never. And I'm 100% confident of that. Sheesh. Now, I had Tesla Tracker on this channel, and he told me something very interesting. He told me that buy every single dip in 2025 because then years coming after that is going to be absolutely a sheesh moment. Check out the video here. It's absolutely insane. Mind-blowing. My mind gets really blown when I watch this thing. And it's just insane. It's really insane. You're going to enjoy it. Make sure you grab your popcorn. Subscribe, guys. Get your about the t-shirt. And I shall see you guys in the next video. See ya.